In this video, we're going to focus on how we can give the scale, or specifically the scale, a thicker border width. So let's start to explore how we can do this on the y-axis and on the x-axis. So let's start to explore how to change the line thickness of the scales in Chart.js. First of all, before we do that, we need to get the default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com, getting started, to get the default code. Or you can find also the link in the description box. You can just click on that one. Then scroll down here and just copy this entire, uh, oh, there you are, chunk of code. Copy this. And if you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here, which explains it all. I'm going to paste that in there. I will cut this out. And then I'm going to paste this in here. Save that. Refresh. Once we have this here, what we want to focus on is based here on these uh, lines here on the X and Y scales. So to do that, let's scroll down here and go here to the scales. For example, here on the Y scale, we can do here the following. We do a comma here, and then what we can do here is we're going to say your border, oh, sorry, not border width, we're going to pinpoint the grid, because it's basically within the grid object. And then what we have to say here, border width. If we say here, for example, five pixels, we save that and refresh. You can see here now it becomes five pixels, but if you look very carefully, you see that there's still a line here. We could basically remove that because those are part of the grid lines. So what we can say here, but then we have to remove everything. Let me say the line width, and we'll say line width on zero. If I do this, refresh. Well, of course, make sure you have a comma here. Save, refresh. Now we remove the line width on the vertical level here or that's connected to your to the y-axis but you can still see there's a line here so what we have to do is as well remove that one then so what i'm going to do now is on the x-axis just do exactly the same comma and then i'm going to say your grid again then i'm going to say your border width will be five pixels and then the line width will be zero save that refresh and now you can see there's no more a line inside here and this is the border width and the, um, the border width of the x and y scale and of course if you want to have only one solid while the other is not what we could do is here for example we're going to say border width one we save that refresh all right and then we could just remove this one here as well like that and then we have only one being bold or, or thicker compared to the other one and that's it so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want for example you want some text here that would highlight a certain item in that case i would highly recommend you to check out this video here about how to change the font color from a callback in a scale in chart.js we put a text here and also give it a color as well